Hello Aries, welcome to your weekly reading. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Aries, this is a collective message for your sign, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and North Node. So please take what resonates and how it resonates for your overall situation. Let's see Aries, what do we have for you? What do we have for Aries? Nice. Mm -hmm. Ten of Wands, Eight of Cups, Two of Swords. What I am getting here, Aries, that finally you will be able to uh, release uh, some sort of burden here or something that's been draining or tiring for you. And uh, it feel it might be it might feel like a burden really, because ten of wands suggests that something here has been too it's like it's been too much, and I feel that you've been kind of left here by your own to deal with something, but with the eight of cups you will have opportunity to finally walk away from this, because there is an indication with the eight of cups that the situation doesn't make you happy anymore. Two of Cups, sorry, Two of Swords, oh, Two of Cups energy wants, to, okay, so there is a connection, we have the Wheel of Fortune, okay, yeah, Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck, so um, Aries, you might be dealing with Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, or Sagittarius so far, we have those signs in this reading for you. Yeah, it feels here very strongly with the Two of Swords and the world that the, like, a, like a period of confusion will come to an end. This cycle, if it, again, it feels like you will close a certain cycle. And with the Two of Swords, I feel that this is a cycle of uncertainty, doubt, or not knowing exactly what sort of path you should choose. I feel that there is some sort of choice and maybe for a lot of you, uh, for some, okay, maybe not for a lot of you, but for some of you might feel, you might be feeling that like you don't want to deal with it or you don't want to kind of um, make a decision now. But at some point, I feel that there is this understanding here showing up that uh, you will have to make a decision and i feel that this week will be quite crucial for you aries because i see you walking away from something that's been too tired too tiring too dif too difficult or it's like it's been too much maybe i should say that and it's been draining and with the two of swords and the world which is great energy i see you finally um closing that cycle that cycle of um, maybe uncertainty uh, there is something here Aries about you finally knowing what to do or kind of possessing enough knowledge and information what to do you know because two of sorts, it feels like you are at the crossroads and it might be case simply about this, should I stay and should I put more effort into this thing that is very tiring for me or should I just walk away from it? And for some of you, indeed, it might be a case. And I feel that you will make a decision during this week because it shows very, very clearly here, especially with the world at the end that you will make a decision and you will close a certain cycle and I feel this cycle of difficulty and you will overcome some sort of obstacle here. And it will really, really make you happy because look what is happening next. We have the Wheel of Fortune so that the, the circumstances here, Aries, will change drastically. That will bring more stability to your situation. I'm seeing you practicing self-love, self-care, having time, more time for yourself which is absolutely gorgeous. This is also pre-Empress energy. So uh, this card indicates that uh, prosperity and abundance here is on the horizon. And the Wheel of Fortune brings this opportunity for stability, for a better stability, 
uh, this is also a card of good luck and good fortune especially if it follows by very very good energy and queen of pentacles is providing that beautiful energy for you aries so you can expect here a massive change a change for the better and it will make you feel really really happy finally i'm seeing you just you know having time for yourself and it's like you are minding your own business finally you'll be able to focus on one thing ace of cups to the nine of cups this is beautiful this is a wish card this is also that kind of you see her expression it's like she's free that, that kind of sense of liberation and freedom with the ace of cups and feeling really good about something here aries uh, this is a big big dream come true kind of energy this is a wish card nine of cups you will get what you want aries and um maybe it is worth you know making that wish or kind of putting your intention into the universe because it will manifest this is huge energy of manifestation nine of cups but um good luck and good fortune here is on your side look how different this energy this energy is from this energy mm -hmm. you'll be very happy you will you'll feel a change of luck suddenly things will start falling into place with the ace of cups during this week there will be also an opportunity here to uh, for um, personal satisfaction and fulfillment regarding emotions for some of you, you might meet someone new and it will make you feel really happy ace of cups with the nine of cups give us ten of cups so ten of cups is energy of relationship relationship based on mutual understanding and love so for some of you, you might indeed kind of meet someone new because you made the decision here to end a certain cycle and when certain doors are closing the new ones uh, uh, opening right either way i see you being very happy during this week um if there is a wish if you want something it might be again worth um you know <laughs> making a kind of um uh, yeah making a wish because that wish will be granted um yeah um, making a wish you know what i mean <laughs> aries but ace of cups here um something new something new is going to manifest and it will make you feel incredibly happy new beginning here regarding emotions love or just in general you will feel very very happy because things will finally start falling into place and you will see with this wheel of fortune that this change is very very prominent it i feel that you will kind of really see that things are changing for for, for the better for better that wish will be granted you will get what you want at the end of the day here aries you'll be very happy ten of swords as an overall energy suggested something here ended and it was it wasn't particularly an uh, easy thing to deal with. I feel that there is a sense of betrayal that you've experienced, but you've picked yourself up. And uh, I feel that uh, it also kind of, I'm getting that it may be kind of opened your eyes uh, more regarding uh, certain dynamics that you've experienced with someone or regarding certain situation but i'm seeing you being quite optimistic looking you know with this optimism and positivity towards the future and this lady here it's looking at you know on the horizon and and kind of wondering what's next and i feel that this is your energy new beginning here is on the horizon big time but ten of swords suggests that something here happened there was some sort of form of an ending and uh, i feel it was uh, particularly uh, challenging and difficult but you did the work and you will be blessed here by the universe essentially with happiness and joy queen of cups mm, something regarding love is showing up but let's take a look let's take a look aries why the ten of wands and the eight of cups for you 
What is this about? Why the Ten of Wands and Eight of Cups for Aries? Three of Cups. Nine of Cups. Uh, nine of Swords, excuse me, and Wheel of Fortune. Mm -hmm. Eight of Cups. Clarified by the Eight of Cups. I see you walking away. For some of you, you are walking away here from a very, very draining friendship. Mm -hmm. And it felt like a nightmare. I feel that this person uh, really disappointed you on an on emotional level. Really. I feel that they did something you didn't expect this. It was unexpected. And... Um, for some of you, there might be a case that gossip is involved in this situation, Aries. But I feel that, you know, uh, it kind of, nine of swords, this person brought an anxiety, stress and worry. And three of cups, it's like a friendship card. I feel that you, you were dealing here or you are dealing here with someone who is very demanding, who is quite difficult in a sense, they really want attention. And I feel this person um, said something they did. They didn't think about the repercussions of their actions. And they really um, made you feel unhappy to the point that you essentially really considering walking away from it. And I feel that you will make that decision here, Aries. For some of you, it might be a situation regarding your close related environment, like family member or regarding family member or relative. Okay. So please take it how it resonates. But I see a very positive change again with the will. Why the two of swords in the world for Aries? Why the two of swords in the world for Aries, please? Hmm. Tower. Your energy, Aries, also Scorpio energy. Why the two of swords in the world for Aries? Nine of Wands and Eight of Wands. Yeah. Four of Pentacles. something here happened i feel that you found out about something and with the tower it again something here was unexpected it was shocking it came completely out of the blue but it brought enlightenment and this is where i feel that because of that tower moment that happened you are no longer kind of you know at the crossroads and it's like it's like a blessing it's guys and and suddenly I feel that you know exactly what to do with with this situation because the tower as much as it brings uh, sudden and may most of the time uncomfortable change it also brings enlightenment so that kind of I feel that something really when kind of uh, you gain a clarity about something and something just kind of was um, how to say it um, Oh, I've forgotten. I'm sorry. I forgot uh, the word. Um, came into light. That's the thing. Came into light. Nine of Wands. You have your guard up because of this. You no longer trust this situation. With the Eight of Wands, I see action. You take in action. There will be conversation. I, I'm seeing you being very busy. And I see also someone who will be trying to maybe kind of make you know make you feel stuck or in a sense of trying to um, this person will try to uh, to convince you that this is not a big deal and you should stay where where you are with regards to this connection or situation because we have a four of pentacles it's like i feel someone here really wants to keep you stuck and I see that communication, conversation, and you kind of not having it really, Aries. Because you possess knowledge and you just know exactly uh, what the situation or this person is about. 
And with the Four of Pentacles, I see you being very kind of uh, knowing exactly what you want. And this is like, this is what I've decided and no one will change my mind. Mm -hmm. Why the Wheel of Fortune with the Queen of Pentacles for Aries, please? Eight of Pentacles, King of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, clarified by the Queen of Pentacles, King of Cups. Okay. Um, what I am seeing here, Aries, uh, for a lot of you with the Eight of Pentacles, which can represent work, kind of your work or job, working related environment or workplace, I see you um, achieving some sort of form of success. Someone here will recognize, and I'm getting very strong masculine energy, will recognize your hard work, dedication, and attention to detail. And with the Queen of Pentacles, clarified by the Queen of Pentacles, it's like your position here, it's very stable and secure. I'm seeing you being very proud, you know. And it's like, um, I feel that really you will feel that good luck and good fortune is on your side. That, that circumstances are changing and suddenly, finally, everything's finally, you know, slowly starting to fall into place. It's like falling into place. Mm -hmm. Or if you are studying, for instance, or attending college or university, I see uh, some sort of kind of a uh, very, very fortunate and good time. Here it's on the horizon for you when you'll have an opportunity to kind of show your skills and kind of prove it to 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 like a higher authorities that um you are taking something really really seriously that's what i am getting but in general this is a this is an indication of some sort of success that it's that it's really on the horizon and it's going to manifest during this week. Yeah, you have an ally. You have an ally at at your work, at your working, uh, at your work related environment, or you know, at school. Uh, but this person uh, really kind of appreciate your your dedication here. So why the Ace of Cups and Nine of Cups for Aries, please? Excuse me. Knight of Cups, Ace of Wands, Five of Swords, Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Okay. So Aries, someone here wants to take action, but this person is very stuck in their head and this is energy of self-sabotage. You have someone here, Aries, who is very interested in you. This Knight of Cups suggests that this person kind of with the Ace of Cups, they want to come forward and make some sort of offer in a sense i feel this person wants to get closer to you or they want to ask you out or go for, on a date with you or just spend more time and they are very very kind of convinced that they really want to take action with the ace of wands but five of swords is this something like it's telling them it's like i feel this is someone who uh, might be quite intimidated um, by your power because you are very powerful um this is energy of self-sabotage five of swords um but i can tell you here one thing you might be dealing also with someone who is you know um who's overthinking over analyzing things uh, but this but the fact that we, majority of the cards are just so beautiful here this person will take action you can expect that during this week you might receive a very nice message or you will be in touch 
with someone who has like a, a romantic intentions towards you essentially i feel that it will make you feel really really happy but uh, i feel that they want you to know that this person has tendencies to kind of overthinking over analyzing things which is obviously not the greatest thing but um in general i feel that that's that's nothing here to be considered about because i'm seeing you being very happy and spending really nice time with this individual you can also expect for a lot of you some sort of form of an apology from someone who played mind games with you this person will come forward they will take action in order to resolve the situation and it's like they really will want to kind of um extend an olive branch i'm getting that sort of energy i feel that if you resonate with this message i feel that it will make you feel really happy and uh, you will see kind of potential here um and to maybe try again or something like this but the fact that we have two aces i'm seeing like a new energy aries new energy you being in touch with someone maybe you've met this person recently and you might have some sort of reservation with the five of swords maybe you don't fully trust this person um because they might have said something or they acted in a certain way or maybe this person you know didn't reply uh to, to your message or something like this um either way please take it how it resonates for your personal satis um, for your personal <laughs> yes there will be a personal satisfaction big time but for your personal circumstances um if that's something that you might be considered about i feel very strongly here that uh uh, things will really get better and this person will kind of come with some sort of uh, initiative and i'm seeing them uh, maybe even expressing their feelings with this letter here or they will be very attentive and very nice either way i'm seeing you being very happy regarding this whole situation and something will indeed kind of work for you yeah very nice queen of swords for some of you, indeed, you might be kind of waiting for this person to approach you. Yeah, I'm sorry, I have a hay fever. Um, yeah. I, you know, that Queen of Swords, it's... I feel that you are really kind of... Um, I feel that you worked very hard to find balance between emotions and logic. And I see you kind of um, achieving that balance because on, on, on one hand, I see you being very emotional, emotionally available. But on the other hand, with the Queen of Swords, it's like, you know, if something doesn't make sense, even if I really like it, then if it doesn't make sense, then it doesn't make sense. It, it, therefore it's not worth for me to put any more effort and i feel that in general this is your attitude because it was very much kind of um, um influenced by this ten of swords energy that happened that 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 disappointment that took place and i feel that you've kind of looking at certain th things from a completely different perspective either way i'm seeing you uh, aries being very happy and you will see during this week that things will start finally falling into place aries i will leave it here thank you so so very much for being with me please like share and subscribe and once again thank you very much for your time i truly truly appreciate you aries have a fantastic and absolutely wonderful day and week and once again thank you very much for being with me i'm sending you much much love till next time take care bye